New Extra Charge Hot and Iced Coffee from Dunkin' is made with 20% extra caffeine from green coffee extract because we could all use a little extra this year. Whether that's an extra boost, some extra boldness, or the drive to go the extra mile. We're extra ready for whatever comes our way and extra excited to take it on. Let's get it done with a medium extra charged coffee from Dunkin' for $2 with 20% more caffeine. And pair it with snackable stuffed bagel minis for an added all-day boost. Order ahead on the Dunkin' app. America runs on Dunkin'. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Is that Shakespeare? Nope. It's Geico. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Shakespeare from one of his unpublished works. Oh, it be not for awakening. Nay, give it thou the berries. For 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. No, it's from Geico, because they help save people money. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Geico got it from Shakespeare. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. It's the Weedsman Podcast Nugget. Zippity what? Ready to drop the bass? Let's drop the bass. whoop de doo What does it all mean? All the random stuff that didn't fit in Friday's show you'll find here. Oh. Okay. Hey, man. You got a joint? A little bit of refresh smell on your boot? what that mean? Please give me, just give me my weed, all right? Is it stuff to do it? No. Only the, hor- it. Only the horrible stuff. Is that you? Only bring out the the shittiest weed for the weedsman. He had to go down to seven mile for this one. Tastes like shit. Well, guess what? You might get a Dustino. I don't even know what that means, you and don't I don't want, care. You, you don't, don't want to know. You don't want to know. You might get on a podcast. If I, <laughs> <laughs> you might be on a podcast. Oh, the podcast people are at Podcast Detroit was at the Great Lakes Comic Con. Oh yeah. Yep, they're doing a live podcast from the event. And I walked by and like they were like all squeezed in on like this little card table. It was hilarious. Yeah. Were they uh I mean did they were they just sitting around talking shit or did they actually grab some guests at the, the I don't know, I didn't the, I just walked by. Yeah. There were there was people watching and I yes. don't want to feel like yes, one of those. Mikey, people. You have a question. <laughs> you need some some what? <coughs> what? Somebody's in the well? Ash, okay. somebody, Timmy. <laughs> what, Lassie? <legacy? laughs> Thank you. I haven't been to the comic book store in like three weeks. Mm-hmm. I owed him a visit, and I had to get the Black Panther uh, emblazoned short box. I've seen that for sale at the Comic Con today. It was. How much were they asking for it? Ten bucks. I got mine for eight, and he probably discounted it for me too. Oh, nice. There are people buying them by the buttload. Yeah, I I had my stack ready to go and I was and he was ready to ring it up and before I swiped my card I looked up and sitting right there on the counter is the Black Panther short box. I'm like, Oh, you gotta put this on there. Yeah. Now I got Black Panther and I got X Men. No, which that's <coughs> what place do you go to? I go up to Comics Corner. <coughs> nice. That's who just called me to tell me that he found uh my copy of the Swamp Thing Winter oh. Special. Oh, you uh y- your dealer? My dealer, You're making yes. sure you don't scratch. My dealer, you know, I'm I've been really loyal to those guys, and I don't know what happened. I mean, mistakes happen; shit happens. Every once in a while, a book goes by, and sometimes it's not their fault. Where uh, because uh, it's not their fault that I missed a book. Sometimes it gets delayed, or they didn't print enough of it, or what uh, what have you. And there's a lot of smaller stuff that I read that I'm the only one on. Hmm. There's a handful of books that they get just for me. Nice. Like those those indie fre- books, right? Those are frequently missing, though, because they're not ordering big enough quantities of them. So if they have to short somebody, they short the guy ordering onesies of it. So if they run out of, like Diamond Publishing runs out of Monstro Mechanico 4, then I don't get one. That's no good. We know about the relationship. Yeah. Mike's like, I've been, I know these relationships. I mean no fucking signal. But what's in the box? What's in the box is about three weeks worth of comics. Actually, not quite. They got mixed up. They're not in order. No. Milk Wars. Part two of Milk Wars. There is somebody that looks like Batman. Also kind of dressed like a priest. Like a bat priest. Mother Panic. Oh, yes. Mother Panic and Batman crossover in the Milk Wars part two. 
Uh, part one so far was about some pocket universe that some villainous intent people were uh, controlling, and they were keeping the populace uh, docile by providing this uh, this utopia for them that was like this perfect little 50s Leave it to Beaver type of thing. What's in the fucking box? And, and a, somebody who looked like Superman would come by and deliver milk to them that would, the milk had like some drug in it that made them docile. Damn. Dark Knight tie-in, The Wild Hunt. Thank you, sir. I think there's only one issue left of the metal series, and I still don't know what's going on. Really? <laughs> but some of the stuff has been fun enough. This is co-written by Grant Morrison, who's done a lot of Batman stuff. He did a long run of, Grant, of Batman, where Batman actually died and went crazy and got time displaced and... He also is the one who introduced uh, uh, Batman's son by Talia Al Ghul, the Damien, Damien Wayne. Damien. Justice League, number 38, The People vs. Justice League continues. <laughs> the People vs. Justice League. Batman, number 40. Boom, boom. I think we get to see, yeah. dun, 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 did dun. Batman bang Wonder Woman? Yes, hopefully. Put it in her. And if so, that what cover is, is pretty much insinuating it. What is Catwoman going like, to think? Oh, it's like shining right on it. I think it's her, her golden womb. I have a feeling it's, go- it's going to be more so uh, about not if he actually did bang her, but how, is, where, when. No, in the no butt. is Catwoman <laughs> going to be able to accept that he spent in a time displaced pocket universe uh, the equivalent of like five years in this wasteland did with he her? Use the batarang. While having sex. And will she ever believe that even if he didn't bang her out, that he really didn't? Hmm. She pro- he probably did. With a bat condom. A bat condom? Is bat cock. Bat cock, go! Wonder Woman's, uh, she's been off in another universe making eyes at Conan. She's been getting around lately. The bar- Peace. Conan the Barbarian. That one. So, the very same. I do have a question before you go. Who uh, before Marvel has rights go, back Ann? for him. Yes. No. If you did, like you said, you don't didn't go back for three weeks. Do they yeah. save those for you? One hundred percent. Then yeah. when you show up, you just I just get it all at once. Yeah, usually. Yeah. yeah. And as long as I show up once a month there, they're cool. Okay. He didn't know that. Huh? I try and get there every week. Well, no, I, but it, it just sort of it, that, that question just jumped in my head, and I wanted to yeah, ask before I, that whole <laughs> st- this whole stack was there waiting for me. It's a poll lo- a poll list or a poll box or a poll. At first, you I thought it. you were going to say it's a poll lock. A poll like, lock. What? <laughs> Yeah. Black Bolt number 10. I think only two issues left of this story. This is back with uh, Christian Ward, my favorite current artist working in comics. Oh. Exit stage left, Snagglepuss. Hmm. Snagglepuss Ish- him? Issue one was all right. <laughs> Gay! He's uh, like a writer, like a, I don't know. He's a writer, a playwright. I don't know what the story's about yet, but it seems like it's going to be very much... Uh, What's the word for it when they were looking for communists in the entertainment industry and other places? Uh, Red scare? Yeah. It's kind of like... Yeah, it's kind of a McCarthyism type of story, although I think his sexuality is going to be called into question. Ha! Gay! Yeah. Yes, you are. No. Cool. Yeah. (laughs) Rogue and Gambit, number two. Rogue and Gambit go on a secret mission to some sort of couple's retreat. Very, like, 90s romantic comedy style. Oh, Astonishing boy. X-Men number 8. Charles Xavier is still back. Paper Girls number 20. The last Image comic, and maybe the last monthly comic, that still sells for two ninety nine. Iron Fist 77. I'm kind of getting bored of that. Mm-hmm. And maybe I should have dropped that one already. Shadow Batman. You know, I don't buy everything Batman. I know, I'm like, you and got I a lot still of Batman. End, and I still end up with a lot of Batman. Yeah. <laughs> So what you're telling me? I don't even is buy. Hey, you guys like Batman? I don't even buy half of the Batman comics that is are released really each that month currently. Is there really that many Batman comics? Batman. There's a lot of Batman. Detective. His, his Latin cousin, Batman. I bet if you tried to account for time and all the stories that he's involved in, it would be physically impossible. Is it? There had to. Be, there has to be more than one Batman. There's Batman. So is there a license or something on the Batman character or? Uh, yeah, one hundred percent. DC owns the rights to. So what? Batman. How's, why is there so many fucking comics? Because Batman sells better than anything else, 
And really? Yeah, absolutely. It is consistently a number one book, regardless whether it's the quality is up there or not. But lately, it has been. That's been you know, Batman for the longest time was the only DC that I was reading. But I was a consistent Batman reader. It was <laughs> X Men and a lot of Marvel related stuff and Batman. Well, I'm personally, I know I'm in the min- minority. But Batman to me is just a man running around in a rubber suit. Sure. Yes. Absolutely right. Like nothing super, and it's just kind of. But isn't that that's the that's why his character has so much not be, just because he is this idyllic hero, but it's something that's accomplishable without having to have fantastic events of radio action, radioactivity, or mutated genes or something. Yeah, I just don't get the whole Batman thing. I might be the only person in the world. It's also why why Marvel led their universe with Iron Man, even though he wasn't a super popular character, because he was just really smart, a really smart guy who was really good with technology. He figured out how not to die. Walking Dead number one seventy six with a Is, picture of Michonne. Michonne, oh, that's a very nice picture. I'm not sure who the artist is. Maybe. I know Walking Dead's coming back this weekend, is it? I, I don't believe so. I don't even know uh, if I'm I gonna, haven't kept up. And I don't know if I have time for that anymore. Yeah, I don't. Of course. I should have recognized it. This is Bill Sienkiewicz, one of my favorite artists. An artist that I was turned on to by early issues of The New Mutants. Deathstroke 28, Kill or Be Killed. Another Captain America. Jenny Finn, Cable, Skyborn. Bloodshot, Marvel 2-in-1, number 3. Number 2? No. This is very odd. Like, there's a 3 on there, and then there's a 2, and the 2 is much bigger. It looks like the Fantastic Four are going to be coming back. No! <laughs> Possibly. No, they're not going to make another movie, I don't oh, think. Oh, okay. I actually heard that they they're gonna, want to. They're going no. to. They're going to be coming back to the comics. No. <laughs> I mean, eventually Marvel's going to make another. Once they have the rights to the Fantastic Four again... They're probably going to make a few new Fantastic Four movies. <laughs> I hope not. Why? What do you got against the Fantastic Four? Because it's bombed every time they've made a movie so far about it. Yeah, but the concept is brilliant. Nobody's done it right. A lot of those... Put Ryan Reynolds in it. A, a lot of those Fantastic Four comics are... Because that worked well with the Green Lane. ...are classics. That's where the joke was. Yeah. Because Fantastic Four is like... Uh, oh, what was that old TV show where they came across Ro- Robbie the Robot, and they had that old perv with the goatee that hung out with the family. And they were in space, mm. and they were lost. lost in space. They were, they were, yeah, they were lost in space. What was the show called? Mm. It's like Lost in Space. I know that show. It's about a family on, on the frontiers uh, going on adventures together. Rumble, Rumble. Robotech, Dark Crystal. Cold War. Oh, that's it. Rob, didn't you see some of these people in person? Uh, I saw you, people dressed up as them. You've met some of these superheroes. <laughs> I, I met people that were dressed as... <laughs> how many, I won't admit that they are the people, but... How many, how many Batmen did you witness? None. Not one? No. There was a Red Hood. It's like a Bat Army. I saw a shit ton of Harley Quinns. Really? In different, in different forms. We had animated series, Suicide Squad, uh-huh. Margot Robbie. Right. We had the, you know, typical pudding. The, was it animated the, like, body suit that's with the black pointed, and red with the mask? Yeah, pointed mask with the, you know, the joke, jester nice. hat. And then, you know, the... A uh, comic book one I saw. That's the original Harley, yeah. you know. That's mm-hmm. where her, that was her first costume, and that she originated from the animated show. Yeah, yeah one of the few characters to yeah. cross over. Yeah, she was the only one of the only like main villains that was created for mm-hmm. the created series. by Paul Dini, if I remember correctly. Paul Dini. Paul Dini. Hey, Paul Dini. <laughs> the great Sorry. Paul Dini. The great Paul Dini. I think more like Jawa. Baldini, you know when they see a droid, yeah, or they see anything, Baldini, or they have to go to the bathroom, yeah, and that's all they say, Baldini, Baldini. So you go to the Comic Con to spectate? Yes, I'm a people watcher. And oh, it's the uh, going I look to for deals. Don't ask like, yeah, I say, look, you don't buy shit. Oh, I do buy shit. Yeah, I'm a comic book fan, but I'm not a. Yeah, I'm not the person up. that gets dressed up. I don't go that far. 
I mean, yeah, maybe if I lost a sh- you know a little more weight, Shit. I probably would. It, I thought you were smoking a cigarette. This is a joint. <laughs> no, that's just. A- oh, whoa! Hey, Hi. It, we're restoring from when I yeah, rebooted. Going? <laughs> yeah, I could hear. No, it. that's just a Mikey B finely rolled joint. Oh, the fatly rolled joint. That's like the size of a Marlboro. Yeah, so it possibly be. a Marlboro so, wide. So we might be go way back. So so it gets down. So it should go down. Yeah, this was. This is what Chris inspires to roll. Yeah, but he does not. Mike uses a machine. I Mine, he's, the, like you're the crusher, a, bird crusher. You're, you're getting a bespoke, I'm, I'm, handcrafted, I am admitting. artisanal joint with me. I don't All want right? that. I don't want it. I, I, I use I, all I, the bud words for handmade. People are going to see a joint that I have, and they're going to know it's rolled. You know, Mikey B's Budweiser, all right? And I'm some guy in his garage making beer because I like beer. Mm. No, my hands it, just shake. I'm just uh, a dude he's like a, is a dude playing like a another B's, dude. Like, like a B's, Mickey's wide mouth. A Mikey B's my, wide mouth. Mikey That's B is Anheuser Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. All right, he's got the Clydesdales. He's like Steel Reserve, is what he's like. You need to fuck off. <laughs> 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 That's not even nice. <laughs> That's the case. You're Red Dog. Red Te- Dog. Teenage boy lays an egg Can in I front of baffled doctor, doctors. <laughs> Fake news. He does, it, he does it in front of doctors. Well, you're pretty classy. <laughs> Get amps a little late. Is, is this like a future David Blaine? You are fake news. He's, like, wait, he, he's Zima. I'm not buying it. He's Chris like, Do- doctor, wait. I, I think I got something in my butt. Just like turn around for a second. <laughs> watch, watch, watch. Look what's happening. <laughs> I'm going to lay an egg. You're going to lay an egg? That'd be sweet. Side note. <laughs> Just because Facebook's reminding me. She's been putting Catherine O'Hara on a stamp in Canada. Who? Catherine O'Hara. You know, Catherine O'Hara. Or, oh, wait, you can't oh, see really? this. Oh, really? I can see it. Really? That's kind of cool. They're putting it on a stamp. Who? They posted Why Catherine are they putting it on a stamp? She's Catherine O'Hara. Is she, if she's Canadian, she's a Canadian celebrity. You're a Canadian celebrity. Oh, she's getting put on I a wish. Canadian stamp. Yeah, so yes, correct, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Think we give a fuck about the mom from Home Alone here? No, I don't. Because it's really also the mom from Beetlejuice. Yeah, because that's really all she is to the United States, to people with shitty comedic palates. Who else's mom did she play? Yeah, she played a lot of moms. Played a, yeah, various moms in their you know nineties. But she's from SCTV. She's in all the Christopher Guest projects. That's true. But anyway. So this liar says he laid an egg in front of a doctor? He said he's laid yeah. 20 eggs. Who? A human being? Akmal. Akmal. A boy, a 14-year-old boy. <laughs> that the mo- <laughs> Let me start again. Really? You've <laughs> got to be yolking. I have a 14-year-old boy. This is from the mirror. This is... That the, 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 mirror refers to, the mirror refers to as Teenager Akmal. <laughs> this might as well be the Inquirer. It's the it mirror. Does- you're the mirror. doesn't make it any less entertaining. Medics have said that it's impossible for poultry to uh, poultry eggs to develop inside of a human. <laughs> the shell medics and have. Is that a, just a word for... Do- like a medic is like somebody who shows like an EMT, right? Somebody that shows up in an ambulance. It's inquirer will name a yes. real doctor. Right. He's probably had his license suspended, but at once upon a time was a real doctor. Well, let's just say doctor. Let's say they mean <laughs> doctor. Yeah. yeah. Air quotes... Doctor, right. you know, like Doctors Dr. Like, Pepper. No, I believe this. This is something a doctor would say if asked. That is impossible for poultry eggs to develop inside a human. No right. shit. Right. I did not need to go to school for 10 years we did, to make that statement. We did chief. not need to ask a doctor this either, right? Mm. We could have asked anyone. This is true. But, you know. Tell me more. And, and unsurprisingly, they suspect the eggs were put inside the youngster. What? Oh, so this just turned into Law and Order SVU. Yeah, damn. We're underage. Someone's inserting eggs. His dad ruthlessly told me where they heard Told you. local media, in two years he laid eighteen eggs and two today. So in total there have uh, been someone's twenty. Someone's been shoving eggs in this guy. Someone shoved two dozen eggs in this kid's ass. I cracked the first egg and its content and its content was all yellow, no white. Gross. Is yeah. Racist? Gross. All yellow, no oh, white. It's Pro-Asian. Yeah. Pro-Asian article. White genocide. Remember, we were talking about this on, on Regimented the other day. They well, show, if you scroll down, there's some still images, and it's like the one of them says, 
The boy appears to be in pain in the video footage. And above it's just an image, right? And it, and it says image from weirdo channels slash YouTube. Why didn't they link to the, the video? Yeah. Why would they just show a screen cap of it and go, here's a picture of him looking like he's going to lay an egg? You are fake news. Oh, there's an x-ray that the family provided that looks to look like he's got an egg in it makes it look like he shoved an egg up his butt, is what it looks like. <laughs> boy's being sought. This boy is clearly a two eggs shoved up in his ass. <laughs> One hospital spokesman said, Our suspicion is that the eggs were deliber- deliberately shoved into exactly. Akmal's rectum. Someone's gotten away with shoving two. And they probably came to. That's also and the shitty part. And Akmal's dad said, Rectum? Those eggs <laughs> damn near killed him. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all worth it for that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we have a recording of his dad. Wrecked him, damn near killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Miss that guy. That's actually the doctor telling the story afterwards about this yeah. guy that he met. I have no idea what's going on in this story. What? He says more fake news. Up rocks. Some are already suspect. Yep. Because it's up rocks. It dead spin or up rocks. Buzzfeed. A Texas rapper was arrested for video footage of terroristic threats against Takashi 6 9? Like, do you really have to spell it? Yes. So if you have the. Takashi is in conflicts in airports at LAX and San Antonio. So it's like an Asian guy with a grill and face tattoos. Yeah, tell. he is a weird-looking dude. Multicolored hair. This is already going to be gold. This is going to be a high-class story. I don't yep. think... Is that Takeshi? Yeah. Or is that the Texas rapper? The 6ix9ine? Yeah, that's the 6ix9ine guy. This is Takeshi 6ix9ine? Yes, Takeshi 6ix9ine. Oh, you've heard of him? Yes, he is a rapper. Not and a his very face, good one. And his face is tattooed. He's got... Is that a grill? 6ix9ine. Is that a, not a good one? Yeah. I know who you're talking about. He's arrested for terroristic threat for posting a threatening video saying that they were planning to fuck up Takashi. Takashi got into the LAX flight after allegedly calling another cat calling another woman. Uh oh. For his part, Takashi maintained after the flight that no one quote can touch him, which allows his previous pleas for people to quote test his gangsta. <laughs> I didn't know he was eight. The, the, the police pop. were aware of the since deleted video in which another individual said they planned to pop Takashi right in his fucking face. The father of one is yet to be yet to pass a GED test, which was a requirement for the 2015 plea bargain bargain in his case. If he doesn't get his dude, if he doesn't pass his GED by April 10th, he's facing three years in prison. All right, I mean red flags all over, but if do you have a plea bargain that involves you getting your GED? Might be gut check time. Might, might be gut check time. I think it was before he got the first face tattoo. Oh, yeah. Like, what else matters after that? Yeah, face tattoo number two you should be gut check time. <laughs> number two? You, you let somebody slide on one. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, everyone gets one face tattoo. I don't know. In my world. You get one. Unless it's like a teardrop. Hey, listen, all right, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson changed the game. All right. I don't one. think he did. Yeah, I think he just clearly labeled himself as crazy. He didn't normalize it. He ostracized himself. You it, tell someone they're gonna eat their children. Yeah, pretty much. That's yeah. Pr- pretty much. Uh, we've. I will eat your children. We are a <laughs> fairly accepting <laughs> culture. Play the year off. But face, See, I'm face tattoos. You have one face tattoo. I'm saying you're more liberal than most. Mike, you should get one. Why? A you mustache. Your mom would love it. No, a face tattoo. I have a mustache. No, a face tattoo of a mustache. Oh, no, I was going to say his name on his cheek. No. This is Mike, he be. And it could be spelled in like this big swoopy letters that came down like a handlebar mustache? Who's standing by with Jim Gray. Maybe. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you, Steve. Mike, was that your shortest fight ever? If I got a tattoo anywhere on my face or head, it would be side of my head. I dedicate oh, this fight to my brother, neck. Darabon, who died. So he starts with My hair's still growing, so I can... He thanks God, which is Muhammad. Oh, dedicates it oh, God, to his children. Neck uh -huh. hands. Is this your yeah. Yeah. Does he have a face That's tattoo hilarious. at this point? Assalamu alaikum, Maida. Um... No, this is pre-face tattoo. This is pre-jail, I, I think. I think. Yeah, yeah. Let oh, he's giving an interview in a boxing ring. Yeah. He no, found it's God before. No, it's post. This is post prison. He's talking about Lennox Lewis. I only trained probably and God. two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend, and I dedicated Jesus. this fight. I wasn't going to fight. I dedicated this fight to him. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. What? I'm the best ever. There's the never fight. been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claws. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just impetuous? ferocious. I want Mike, to Mike, are you I insane want to right children. now? <laughs> Praise be to Allah. Uh, are you saying now, Mike? Yes. Mike? You just said I will eat his children. Praise be to Allah. I will eat his children? <laughs> yes. He said, I will eat his children. Praise be to Allah. And then turns around and leaves. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no face tattoos. So see, in my world, you get one face tattoo. Why not? Do it up. That means you should get one. Yeah, do it up. No. I, I have to get My it job to Mike. says I, can ha I have to have zero face tattoos at my job. I mm. thought he was off on his use really of impetuous, but it's actually yeah. quite apt. I'm sure. And closer to the original definition than is commonly used when refer referred to as stu to uh, uh, stubborn children. And his defense is impregnable. Yes. <laughs> Praise be the honor. His style, is it, his style is impetuous? Is that what he said? His style? Yeah. My style, my style is impetuous. Petuous. I love it. Although I sound super gay when I say it. If you like this show, please tell a friend. Please follow us on Twitter and like and share us on Facebook by searching for Christopher Media. You can subscribe to all ChristopherMedia.net shows for free on ChristopherMedia.net. Please make sure to rate and comment on all your favorite Christopher Media shows. Thank you in advance for supporting Christopher Media by clicking on the PayPal button and by clicking through to all the sponsors who support ChristopherMedia.net. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. And thank you for listening. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. Dear home, we need a change. We need HomeSense, where one bold piece can change your whole place. Want a new dining set? Chic throw pillows? Game-changing savings mean the answer is yes. HomeSense, this changes everything. Good afternoon. Would you like to try a free sample of our double fudge brownie? Oh, sure. Mmm, that's very good. I'll just take one more, just to be sure. Yep, still, very good. Some things never change, like never being able to take just one free sample. And Geico saving folks lots of money on their car insurance. Mmm, is that macadamia nut I taste? Let me take one more, sir. Mm. Yeah, I thought so. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more.